Hi, Stacy Burke here, and I'm coming to you old school in the bathroom, in the green bathroom, the guest bathroom, with my infamous shower curtain. Uh, I just thought I'd pop up on here and do a vlog, and yeah, I'm wearing something retro. I thought I, this is like a little crop sweater, and I bought a lot of these on Amazon. I'll probably do like a little haul for you, but they're just basically like, you can't tell, but they're... Uh, they're groovy bell-bottom pants <laughs> that I'm really into. Um, but I just thought I'd pop on here because there was something that um, I've been wanting to talk to you about. And um, I talked to my boyfriend about it too. And he said, yeah, sure, you should probably do a video because I was thinking, I don't know. Because um, I kind of got schooled. Okay. The word is gypsy. That is the word, gypsy. Now, when I was a kid, you know, Cher had a song, Gypsy, Tramps and Thieves, you know, like, it was, Gypsy was a common, kind of common word that I would hear a lot, and in fact, in school, one time I dressed like a gypsy, but like a fortune teller gypsy with, you know, I mean, that used to be kind of like the outfits that we would wear back in the day for uh, Halloween, I guess no one really dresses like that anymore. Um, same with headdresses. I used to dress like a, a Native American because my grandfather is, was Navajo and we were raised, we would, you know, like proud of our heritage and I'd go to powwows and stuff. And, and I loved um, getting those little Adobe dolls and, and seeing where I used to live in an Adobe house. And I used to love buying headdresses and Indian clothes and dress up like an Indian because, you know, it's just cool, you know? And and same with gypsies. Now, my meaning of gypsy, I was brought up where it was like, um, it wasn't a culture, it wasn't from some people from a certain place. To me, it was almost like, like, a, like a group of people, a, like almost like an identity of life or career choices. Gypsies to me meant a vagabond, a traveling group of people um, back in the day in a caravan, but I mean, whatever, th during the times. Um, it meant that they had to survive on like being a travel salesman or like almost like a shell game, you know how, you know, like, Maybe that's an old term too, shell games. People would, for money, they would get shells and they'd like find the quarter, find the quarter, and there's a trick to it. And of course you win, it's like doing magic tricks. If you go to New York, if you go to Venice, you got those kind of people. They're, they're like almost like vaudeville acts or vendors or uh, street performers, street performers. And so Gypsy in my head, was always like a traveling group of people that had to make ends meet and they were vagabonds, traveling salesmen. Sure, you know, maybe they, you know, swindled people out of their money, you know, maybe they could be bad as well. Or um, that part of it, you know, tarot card readers, some are good tarot card readers, some are not, some are phony. So it could have this phony thief type of um, like meaning as well, but there's so much, you know, I mean, there could be good and bad gypsies. I just mostly what in my mind were they were vagabond traveling salesmen because they lived on the road, almost kind of like circus performers. You know what I mean? So I never really considered it a bad term, but it's different times now. And I'm, I am the wokest of a woke, woke, woke as you can woke, 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 woke be. Like, you know, my boyfriend knows. Like, I am like, I am so woke. <laughs> I am so woke. And I am i don't mind being schooled. If I'm in the wrong, I'm in the wrong. Um, but I was at work uh, last month at the pumpkin festival. And there was a group of older, they looked like, you know, like gypsy types, you know, in my mind, but older generation. And they were talking to the guy, not me, but someone else. And they kept on, 
they took a lot of his time and they needed change for this and then change for this and then they needed a, a kid's wristband but then they needed a, a, an adult wristband. They weren't buying all the stuff at once. They kept coming back and like, oh, I forgot I need this wristband. Oh, okay, women or, or is it um, adult or a kid? Well, and then they'd come back and they would give them hundred bill, dollar bills and fifty dollar bills and he was trying to make change and he was getting confused and I, and he was they were spending a lot of time with him kept coming back coming back coming back and he was trying to make change and, and then you know they were kind of like oh come on we could be your mother we could be your father come on you know like they were like you know usually women's intuition is correct like I might I, I whisper to him I go be careful they're trying to, to confuse you and he goes, yeah, okay, I know. And he was trying, he was like, finally he had to say, okay, you guys are taking all my change. I can't make any more change. Because I'm like, why are they, like, like all these hundreds could be fake or these fifties could be fake. Like, or they're confusing them to get the money. Like, or they're buying a children wristband for really an adult because they're the same color. Like, I just thought, I just saw right through it. They were trying to confuse them and, you know, opportunity to, um, you know, money wise or something I don't know and so when they were started to leave I go be careful honey they were gypsies and he looked at me and he goes no no not here you could do that anywhere but you don't do that here he got angry at me like he bit my head off and I'm like and I just stopped and I was a little like oh cause, and I didn't say it loud enough for them to hear it I just said it to him it was like I said the n-word it was like that. And I was just like, stop. And I was like, first like, whoa. And then I'm thinking to myself, is gypsy a bad word now? I mean, in that connotation, I guess that's the word, in connotation, in that moment, I guess in a way, because I was saying they're running a shell game on you. Um, they're trying to confuse you. Like they're doing bad stuff. So I guess in a way I was. Uh, but um, I guess I could have used this term shell game but he's younger so the younger generation probably don't understand the shell game either um so i didn't get mad i felt really bad and embarrassed and then i thought oh my god what if gypsy is a bad word i need to, when i get a chance i need to google it and i did google it i would google it but right now for you but i'm on my phone recording but you could google it google it too and it has many definitions one of the definitions is my definition a vagabond, a traveling salesman, you know, a group of people that, you know, live on the road and, and, and opportunities to make money, whether it's, it's on the up and up or not, you know, and then there's another one that it is a group of people that live in a certain region and they're usually from this ethnic, ethnicity and, and, all, and all that kind of stuff. And it's, and I actually Googled, is it a slur? And they go, well, yes and no, it could be deemed as a slur. Um, so I'm right, but he's right. You know what I mean? So I guess I gotta be careful with the word gypsy. And I guess it could be bad and I don't want it to be bad, but in a way I'm a little heartbroken that I gotta break up with that word because I kind of liked it. It was like a romantic, like I romanticized the word gypsy. Like I even dressed up as a gypsy once. Like I, it's kind of like, you know, like like someone that's on the streets, like a street um, performer and or a magic act. And you make money or like, oh, or, or a bar game. Like, oh, I bet I could drink from this side of, of my water and not get wet but not that side, you know, like little games like that, how you get money in a bar, like, and we all know there's a trick to it and you're guaranteed to make that money because you know the trick. So I don't find it that bad. It's not like someone that's like a robber or murderer or, or like a gangster or someone that's does really terrible stuff. Um, but now I'm gonna be more careful. And I thought I would bring it to your attention. Like, what do you think? Because I try to be woke and I try to be like, okay, I, I want to be on board. And because there's a reason for that. And I don't want to offend anybody. That is not my, I don't want to do that. So I got schooled. Just like you can't dress in a headdress anymore or wear Indian gear, which I don't understand since I'm, 
I went to powwows and they would sell that stuff and I'd put it on and I'm like, yay, you know, like I'm back in the times when we used to wear it and I would wear like some colors that was like, oh, these people wore these, these colors and this. I'm like, oh, wow, that's cool. And I actually like dressing up like a Native American Indian, you know, I, I like, it was fun. I love those hairdresses. I think they're so beautiful, but you know, that's offensive now too. And so um, I, I was very heartbroken over that because I have a love affair with dressing up like Native American. And I had a love affair with the, name, with the word gypsy. I like the word gypsy. I like to dress kind of gypsy-like and hippie-like and bohemian-like. And um, so anyway, I, I really did feel bad. And I never really brought it up to him because if that's how he feels, that's how he feels. And I don't want to bring it up to him. And I don't want him to think that I am, you know, that I'm one of these people that would say the N-word and, and inappropriate things because I'm not. Uh, uh, you know, usually I try to learn from it. And when he did that and he reacted so negative over the word gypsy, I'm like, okay, all right, that's off the table now too. Okay, you know, I will do my homework and I will uh, try not to use it. I mean, I'm not going to say I'll never use it, but just so you know, if I do say it, I'd never mean it that negative. Like, nothing like trying to be offensive. Just like a shell game. So that runs a shell game. Someone that that's a, a street performer or, or, you know, or a tarot card reader. Because we, we go to tarot card readers or, or palm readers and all those kind of things. And you know some of them are just shysters. You know they're just like... So it's like calling someone like, oh, you're a palm reader, you're a terrorist. Because, you know, probably 10% are probably really valid. Most of them are probably like shell game operators. You know what I mean? So that's not off the table yet. <laughs> so I'm just trying to be more woke, I guess. And maybe it could be a good discussion for you guys down below. So you let me know. What do you think of the word gypsy? And maybe since I brought it up. What do you think about people wearing headdresses or Indian um, dress, like an Indian outfit? I don't want to say costume, but uh, it could be a dress, it could be pants or whatever, like, an in, like a Native American um, outfit, you know? Like, what do you think about it? Uh, because, I don't know, it's like... I'm just trying to keep up to things and keep up to date because there's other things going on. Like, you know, if girl wears braids, they say it's inappropriate, but I like to wear braids sometimes or like, or maybe um, just certain things, but yet I want to, don't want to offend anyone at the same time. But, you know, when you grow up with it and, and it, you kind of romanticize about certain things and um, you like it and it's part of your history, especially the Native American outfits. I mean, my grandfather, like, you know, he, he we go to powwows and stuff. So it's like, and then the word gypsy. So anyway, I could go on and on. So I'm just going to leave the conversation to you. Um, and what do you think? And so, like I said, I got schooled. So I need to be more careful if I do say that word. And I have to make sure if I do ever say that word to let them know like how I mean it and not to be derogatory. I don't want anything to be derogatory in in a sense. Um, so yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to let you go because I'm, I'm cooking something in the oven. And so I got to go check on that. Uh, so check for more videos for me. So um, yeah. <laughs> To all my space cadets and all my briquettes, I hope you have a groovy day. Until next time, peace.